at Honda Research and Development. I worked on the 09 pilot, and now I'm the development lead for the 2016 pilot. Uh, I do have a family. I have a wife, a 16-year-old boy, and a 12-year-old. So I had a lot of time uh, to survey all of them every single night, and do a lot of clinicking in our house. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, and so I had to do everything that they said, or I'd hear about it for the rest of my life. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the pilot history. We start with uh, the first generation pilot was introduced in 2003. And as one of the first unibody SUVs, uh, it set new standards for handling ride comfort and fuel economy. For the second generation, we were really trying to establish ourselves as a, a true SUV capability. So we upgraded the rugged utility uh, and the off-road capability of towing. So what should we do with the third generation? Uh, that's exactly what we were asking uh, our current customers. And when we asked them to describe their current pilot with images, uh, they described it as a safe, um, utility, capable, uh, family-oriented. And what did they really want? Uh, the direction they wanted to move is towards modern, sleek, premium, but they didn't want us to give anything up. They wanted it to be muscular and dynamic and capable with no loss in capability. So it's all about people that, that really want it all for their family. The basic direction was rugged and tra traditional, going towards modern and refined, but again, without giving up any of the capability. The Pilot is primarily a family vehicle. Uh, so what that means is, uh, but after you drop the kids off at soccer practice or running your errands, then it's your vehicle that's a reflection of you. Uh, so that means that the pilot has to seamlessly transition from your incredibly active daily life uh, to a relaxing drive to go have coffee with a friend or a date night at your favorite restaurant. And it's really that marriage of family function and a premium appeal that, that we really sought to advance. So we broke down this overall concept into three categories, class above, smart function, and confident performance. So how do you make a vehicle that's very modern and sleek styling, but also incredibly functional? Well, you start with an amazing styling sketch, something that you're aspiring to, to really capture in the styling. This styling sketch was done by Yellow Penguin. Uh, he's uh, quiet, a little bit cerebral, so, but he's available for interviews later. <laughs> Then, uh, while we're striving to maintain our uh, best-in-class cargo and, and hauling capability, with, we're maintaining eight passenger capacity uh, and also outstanding visibility all the way around uh, and also aerodynamics to meet our fuel economy targets. Uh, we feel like we've really captured the essence of the modern and sleek styling of the sketch. Some of the exterior styling uh, feature highlights is signature LED daytime running lights, uh, LED projector headlights, signature LED taillights, 18 inch wheels, and for the first time on Honda, 20 inch wheels. We also had a target in the styling that we really wanted it to be recognizable as a pilot in the daytime or the nighttime. So for nighttime, that means light. Uh, we established, we developed a LED DRL signature shape and mirror that on the rear LED taillights so that it's bold, uh, functional, and recognizable from any direction. Modern, uh, sleek, and premium doesn't just stop at the exterior, but it's also carried on into the interior. Uh, we've got a lot of new features with a really large center console, heated and ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel, heated second row seats, also, push button start. We've got a 4.2 inch color, uh, intelligent multi informational display, an 8 inch touch screen, and for the first time in a Honda, Blu ray disc capability and a panoramic glass roof. Talking a little bit about, more about the panoramic glass roof. We really thought about the function as well as the styling of it. So we wanted to make it large and extremely open for the second and third room. But we wanted to maintain the ceiling mounted rear entertainment center. Uh, 
because that's the best position in our studies for visibility from the second and the third row. And it's also the best position to minimize motion sickness. And we wanted to separate the front standard sunroof from the rear uh, glass, panoramic glass roof. And that way they have separate shapes. So if the kids want the panoramic glass roof to be open, the parents can choose to be open or closed uh, separately. Packaging and cargo hauling is one of the key uh, core competitive advantages at Honda. And we, we didn't uh, rest on every, any part of the pilot uh, to applying that, that knowledge. So we started with our new global mid-sized light truck platform. And by this new platform, it means a, an all new body for the pilot, uh, completely redesigned uh, and an all new suspension. We did make the vehicle uh, three and a half inches longer. Uh, we utilized that extra length uh, in smart ways in every part of the vehicle. About an inch of additional length in the front for improved crash performance. Over an inch and a half in the wheelbase uh, for better space for all three uh, passengers, all three rows of passengers. And uh, also better ingress and egress to the third row. And almost an inch in the rear for better cargo hauling capability. We lowered the roof height by about an inch uh, for better aerodynamics. There are two different uh, seating configurations. Uh, we're maintaining our standard eight passenger configuration with a second row bench seat, uh, we, but we are now offering a second row car, uh, cabin chair uh, version with a low uh, center console that has easy step through the third row. And of course, this is seven passenger. One of the coolest and best family function features that we're applying is the one touch second row seat. So the second row seat has a button on the side and another button on the back that's easy to find from the third row. When you open the doors at night, those are lit up, so they're really easy to find. Uh, when you push the button, the seat folds and slides to its forwardmost position automatically. And then, it's, then you have the easy wide opening to get into the third row seat. Not only that, but we made the access to the third row uh, larger. It's about an inch and a half wider opening and a one inch uh, lower step in height. Uh, so this is the kind of function that's easy for the kids to operate by themselves. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have a lot of different configurations for seating to accommodate all kinds of cargo hauling and any, uh, anything that you want to haul, anywhere you want to haul it. But one of the coolest features that we have is this new reversible cargo lift. On one side it's carpet, on the other side it's an easy to clean plastic. It also has uh, two different uh, levels. At the top level it allows hidden storage and at the bottom level it allows maximum cargo hauling. So you can put in an 82 quart cooler and have no effect uh, to the third row seating. So cargo hauling and cargo capability isn't just thinking about the second row, the third row, and the rear area. You also have to think about it for the driver and the front passenger. They also have stuff and they want to be able to access it while they're driving. That was the thinking we had when we designed the ultimate center console. Of course it has two large cup holders. Of course it has a great location uh, for your smartphone in the front. Another one in a tray underneath the center console lid for hidden storage. When the lid is open, it's a really wide uh, and deep cargo area. Big enough to hold an iPad or many iPads. It's also big enough for a small purse if you'd like to have hidden storage. And when it's closed, it's incredibly stylish and easy to clean, and it makes a nice, secure shelf uh, where you can put a fast food bag or a purse that you can access easily while you're driving. So if your family is like my family, uh, everybody gets in the car, there's four of us, we each have our smartphones, and we're all at 5%, and we're arguing about who gets to charge. So we're offering up to five USB ports, four of them with two and a half amp chargers. So what does two and a half amp charging mean? It means it charges your iPhone or your uh, smartphone faster 
It also can charge an iPad while you're using it, or up to four iPads at the same time for long trips. I was talking a little bit about the Rear Entertainment Center, and I said that we maintained it. We didn't just maintain it, we improved it. We went from QVGA resolution to VGA, VGA resolution. We've got Blu-ray disc capability. We've added an HDMI input and a 115 volt AC outlet to charge just about everything. Uh, we also have all the other inputs uh, and headphone jacks uh, that, we've all, that we've maintained from the past. So for the family, we have to think about everything. So we also have to consider performance. And when we asked the families, they also want it all.